Let's talk about white space and transforms. Um, we've talked previously about the idea of white space in, um, in markup, and that idea is generally that white, spa white space is ignored in markup. Two spaces is the same as one, five, car paragraph re paragra five carriage returns is the same as one single space, tabs are, are ignored, and all that white space for all intents and purposes is crunched down to one or even zero spaces. The, things that the thing that divides things inside of markup is the delimiters of the markup. In, in, for example, in XML, we have those angle bracket delimiters, and the angle bracket delimiters delimit, put spaces between, in effect, different entities like attributes and elements, etc. So um, the use of space is always limited in markup, or at least in the markup we've studied, is always limited to a single space. There's a single space between the tag name, for example, and the first attribute. That space is important, but if it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces, not important. Any amount of space in between the close of one tag and the open of another tag is equivalent to no space at all. Okay, so what we know about spaces, that it's kind of complicated. It, it kind of takes a little bit of getting used to, but in general, space is ignored inside of, inside of, um, inside of markup languages like HTML and XML. Uh, okay, so that's, markup, that's, spa that's white space in uh, markup, which we've covered before. Now let's talk about white space in transforms. The first rule of white space in transforms is that it's completely preserved. Whatever white space there was uh, inside the transform file itself or inside the content that the transform file pulls out of an instance is preserved. So once you do a transform, you open up the transform, you see what the result is, and you'll see all the same white space as there was in the transform. If I put five paragraph marks in the, in the transform, I'll have five paragraph marks in the output. If I put 10 spaces and two tabs in the transform, I'll have 10 spaces and two tabs in the transform, whether they were in the transform, the XSL file itself, or whether they were in the content that was pulled from the instance and then put into the output. Okay, so in transforms, white space is completely preserved. However, usually we're taking that transform output and looking at it in a browser, and the browser then treats the output as markup, and in markup, or as HTML markup, and in HTML markup, white space is ignored. So all that extra spacing goes away inside of, the, um, in, inside of what you see in the browser. But if you do a transform, and you say view source on the transform, you'll see that there's tons and tons of extra white space. In fact, it's all the white space that you have added to the transform through the transform file or by pulling it out of the content. But the browser crunches it all down until um, any number of white space characters, paragraph marks, tabs, or spaces are crunched down to a single one. Okay, so in summary, uh, so far we have that um, White space in, uh, in markup languages is basically ignored. White space in transforms is preserved. But since we're viewing the transforms as markup down the line, white space, once again, is, uh, is crunched out by the browser. OK, so that's, that's the first part. The second part is when you want white space. So suppose I actually want two spaces to show up in a browser, but I don't, you know, but they keep getting crunched out. <laughs> or I want a bunch of paragraphs to show up in the browser, but they get, keep getting crunched out. What do I do to make that happen? Well, there's two methods we have, and one of them is an HTML method, and the other one is an XSL method. The HTML method, um, the HTML method uses special characters, and you probably know this from HTML, that you can have something called an NB, ampersand NBSP semi, that's a non-breaking space, and you can put all those in, and it'll preserve the spaces. If you want to have a paragraph uh, preserved, you can put in a P tag in HTML. Right, so we use a combination of these special characters and, um, and particular markup to preserve any kind of, or create any kind of white space that we want. We can create as many paragraph, any, as many line returns, basically, as we want in the output, but we can't do that with line returns. We can't do that with carriage returns. We have to do that with p tags. And by the way, inside of HTML, the p tag has to have something in it, so we usually put a non-breaking space inside the p tag so that we actually get that spacing that we want on the page. Right? So it's not that hard to, to get the white space you want. It's just that you're not going to get it the easy way by putting in space, 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 space in the transform or by putting in, you know, carriage return, carriage return, carriage return in the transform. You'll have to put it in there using markup or using the special characters. Um, by the way, the special character inside of HTML land is called ampersand NBSP semi, but that exact same character in XML land is called ampersand pound 160 semi. I'll explain that briefly. I mean, it's really not that important, and either you probably already know why, it, why it's like that, or, or you're not, you don't care, but I'll explain it to you anyway. 
Um, NBSP semi is an abbreviation, non-breaking space, right? Ampersand pound 160 is literally the character that gets put in. The pound sign or hash sign stands for hexadecimal, and 160 is the hexadecimal number of the character that creates the space. So in, that, um, in, in the uh, NBSP semi, we've somehow translated the actual character into a convenient abbreviation. And, um, and HTML does this quite, quite uh, liberally. All sorts of abbreviations, ampersand GT semi, ampersand LT semi, right? All of those things are uh, less than and equal to, less than and greater than signs, all that kind of stuff is predefined for you, and the browsers know exactly what to do with that. The same thing actually goes in XML, and we can predefine all these entities and call them whatever we want. We can give them any abbreviations we want and use them, but it's a lot simpler to not bother to define all the abbreviations, because XML, interestingly actually, XML does have a couple of few of those built in, like the ampersand GT and ampersand LT are built into XML, but the other ones aren't. NBSP isn't, for example. And so we have to go back to what NBSP means. NBSP literally means put in the 160 character, the character number 160. And, um, uh, and ampersand GT means put in the whatever it is. I don't know what the number is, 76 character. And uh, less than is 76, greater than maybe is 77. I'm just making that up, right? So the, more fundamentally than, the, um, than the, the abbreviations are the numbers that are used for the characters. And so in XML, we use... Uh, ampersand, and that says what follows is a special character. Pound says what follows is hexadecimal. 160 says it's the 160th character. Semicolon says end of special character. Okay, so that's how that one works. There's another thing that you should be aware of inside of XML that's sometimes more useful to you or a little bit more convenient than the uh, ampersand pound 160 semi, and that's the XSL text command. The XSL text command literally says, or, or the XSL text command says, whatever is between the open and closed text tags, just put it in, don't worry about what it is, don't try to parse it, don't, don't worry about it. And so you can put in as many spaces as you want between the open and closed text and have a space come out in the, um, have a space come out in the transform. Of course, if you put in three spaces between XSL text inside of there, then of course the XSL text isn't going to, um, uh, the, the browser isn't going to see all three spaces, it's going to crunch them down to one, right? So that's not a solution to the, to the more than one space problem, but sometimes it's a convenient solution to, the sync, to adding a single space. Um, and you'll see, for example, that I use that a lot of times to keep uh, script tags and meta tags and that sort of thing open in the head of an, of an HTML file. All right, so that's, um, that's white space and transforms. A little bit complicated, you know, play around with it a little bit and you'll, you'll finally get the hang of it.